Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create a smart contract using Remix IDE. First thing first, we are going to open our remix.ethereum.org. Okay, I don't care about any of this. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see it easier. Anyway, first thing to do is creating a smart contract file. So I'm going to name my smart contract file uh, hello world.sol because uh, literally every uh, tutorial starts with this. So I don't want to change the tradition. Anyway, I'm going to move it here. I'm going to, yeah. So, uh, Every uh, smart contract has a uh, license identifier. So I'm going to add to here two. We are going to use MIT license. Then I'm going to add Pragma Solidity uh, 0 0.8.0. So this, is, this is just says anything higher than 0 0.8. Then I'm going to name my contract hello world so we can identify it easier. So since everything, uh, every smart contract lives on the blockchain, we uh, need to uh, put that information as a state variable. If you find this confusing, uh, I'm going to explain it better in the future, but for now, Let's call it string private value. So now I have a value on the blockchain, but I need to have a way to manipulate this value on the blockchain and read this value on the blockchain. So first thing, I'm going to write a write function so we can manipulate this value. So I'm going to call it string memory new value. It's going to be a public function, so everyone can access to it. And I'm going to, and this new value is going to be the value we are setting to our old value. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say value equals to new value. After that, I'm going to also add a view function. So our view function, oh, sorry, I forgot to name this function. It's going to be function store. Anyway, uh, and our view function is going to be named retrieve. And it doesn't, it's not going to have anything in here. So it's going to be a public view function and it's going to return string memory. By the way, uh, don't worry about the strings part. String, uh, strings basically mean words and memory basically means uh, allocated. I mean, I can't explain to you yet, so don't worry about it. But when we are working with strings, uh, we need to use memory or call data, depending on uh, what type of actions you are going to do. But for this uh, smart contract, we are going to use memory. Anyway, after writing it like this, we are going to return value. And don't forget, we defined our value here, so it's going to return this value. Anyway, I'm going to compile my contract. My contract is compiled then I'm going to, for this lesson, deploy it on uh, the Remix virtual machine. This virtual machine is different from deploying it to a injected provider and to actual blockchain. But for our starter smart contract, this is fine. So you should, shouldn't worry about it. Anyway, I'm going to say deploy. Our contract is deployed. As you can see it from here. So let's call it retrieve. 
it returns nothing because we haven't assigned a value yet. So I am going to say, uh, say hello, uh, hello mom, actually, because why not? So I'm going to store it here and I'm going to retrieve it. And as you can see, we retrieve it from the uh, virtual machine blockchain. And you can basically uh, write anything else here too. So if I say hello, that, and say store and retrieve, see, I'm going to retrieve hello that from the blockchain. And that's basically it. Congratulations, you wrote your first smart contract.